And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Rochelle Cotter says she had never met the defendant until she attacked her at a bar. Rochelle says the defendant threw a drink in her face and even bit her. And she's suing because the bite wound got infected. Defendant Shelby Erspommer insists Rochelle is the one who attacked her and threw a drink in her face. Shelby admits that she bit Rochelle, but insists it was only after Rochelle bit her between her breasts. Tell me what happened. Okay, uh, it was January 28th of this year. I went out to celebrate my 28th birthday with a bunch of my friends, a um, bar we always go to, never had any problems, you know, before. Um, and pretty much that entire night, like, got ruined because um, I was attacked by the That's defendant. That's not true. I'm, I'd like to state right now, that's not true. She attacked me. Oh, so right. She, she her, ruined her own night. Let her I finish. bit myself. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so she attacked me. She bit me. The whole reason we're here is because the bite wound that she inflicted got infected, and I had to get oh. shots and everything for it. So Where do you know her from? I, I don't know her. I never met her before really? that night ever in my life. Ever. So, what precipitated it? What caused it? Uh, how did it occur? I backed into her. A uh, friend of mine, it was about 1.30. In the car? No, no, no. Walking backed into her. Yeah. You were walking backwards? Yeah. <laughs> so, about... You are really high. Okay. No, what happened is we had been there from about 8.30 you know, and throughout the whole night, been drinking, celebrating, having a good time, you know, and you so... You stumbled, is that what you're saying, man? No, no. My friend was, was pretty drunk, and we were going outside to have a cigarette, and he was walking towards me, put, trying to put his coat on so we could go out for a cigarette. And I was walking backwards, kind of laughing at him, like, you got that? You're okay, gotcha. you know? And it, it just, like, literally was, like, a couple steps. And even when I bumped into her, I turned around and was like, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. and then what? At that point, Shelby took a drink, threw it in my face, and she, um, and I bent down because um, the, there was alcohol in my face, mm -hmm. was well, she tried to throw the pub glass at my head and it shattered on the wall behind me. So, and then from there, and then I turned and started walking. She grabbed my hair, went dead weight, took me to the ground. She bit my hand here. She started scratching me. She ripped my earrings out. I didn't think she was so vicious towards you just for backing into her. You know, I guess... Did you ever find out? No, I'm really not sure why ask somebody now. Would, would bite somebody else. Do you have a question to ask me? <laughs> why were you so vicious? Pardon? Why, why were you so vicious? Um, what, what drove you to bite you me? Because you attacked me. I attacked you. You threw a drink in my face. And then you threw a drink back in my face, and I turned around <laughs> to leave, and you jumped on me from behind. Yeah. I can still taste the whiskey and Coke you oh threw in my, my face. God. Yeah, that's not true. All right, I have two that's witnesses. enough. Will you tell me what happened? What's your version? Okay, so the plaintiff backed up into us, and her and my friend were exchanging words. I don't really know what they said. And her friend says something along the lines of, you should fight them. And she's, the plaintiff says, I can take these girls, look how little they are. But she didn't use the word girls. She used something I can't say on mm -hmm. TV. The other girl that I was with goes, what did she say? She goes, I'm not afraid, I'm felon status girl. But she didn't use girl. <laughs> so stupid, so stupid, I know. And at that point, I'm like, my night boiled over. I was over it, done. I grabbed a drink out of my friend's hand, threw it in her face. She threw her drink back in my face. It was stupid. It was really immature and childish to throw a drink in someone's face. So at that point, I was like, OK, we're even. I'm going to leave. I turned around to walk out, and I get jumped on from behind. And like, she didn't jump on me very good. She just kind of fell off. Cause so. I didn't, it's because I didn't jump on you at all. And then I, um, I turned around, and she jumped on me again. And she's like pulling my hair and punching in that. I think I still have patches of hair missing in the back of my head. It's called From going it? bald, not getting it ripped out. Anyways, <laughs> I'm obviously not going bald. I have a bunch of hair, but... Um, <laughs> well, there's so, a lot of other holes in your story, so... Anyways, <laughs> so she's pulling my hair. She's punching me. I grab her hair in response, kind of just like, whatever. We start to fall to the ground, and, you know, like, I'm not as big as I look. I've got these huge heels on. I'm kind of like a little cannonball, so... Um, I end up, physics being what physics is, I end up being on top, and um, 
I don't know, she must have been afraid that something was going to happen or something. She should have been. You bit her, right? Something did um, happen. She starts palming me in the face mm -hmm. and biting me between my breasts. Oh, yeah. No, honey. I didn't want, I did not bite her between her breasts. Where's your bite marks? Did you um, go to the hospital? No. It you made didn't your bite, bite marks me very can't. hard. Yeah, no, so, I never bit her. I never jumped on her. I didn't even have a drink in my hand. So I far, ma'am, you were the aggressor. And I guess what you're suggesting, if you just threw the drink in her face and she threw it back and you retreated, uh, it was over. And that could That's... be the uh, case. And anything after that was self-defense because she reinitiated it. Correct. Any witnesses? Yeah, I've got speak? two witnesses. Both of them were there. He was the designated mm. driver for my birthday, so come on up. He never he was the had only any one, alcohol. He was the only one sober. I mean, and I've got a witness statement from the bar. I even have a report from the bar, an incident report, that she was banned from the bar, and that she's even oh, had prior incidences with the bar. Let's see that. Incidences sir, what do you bar. want to tell I've me? I've never had any state prior your name, incidences sir? with the bar. Pictures of the bite wound. Sir, yep. state your name. Uh, Alejandro. What do you want to tell me? Basically, she threw the drink, like, backed into her. You know, things were said back and forth. She threw the drink, and then she's like, you know, going down, glass goes over, smashes, and she's like, what the hell? And then next thing you know, her hair's getting pulled, and they're on the ground. Okay. So we just went anything? over and That's, separated. Yeah. Were you there? I was there. Come on, stand up. Yeah, we never saw him. I've never seen Station him before, name. ever. My name's Noah Zuma. You tell me what happened. I had left the bar to go pack a pack of cigarettes. Went, bought a pack of cigarettes, stood outside, smoked a cigarette. Came back in, went into the band area. My girlfriend was sitting at the table by herself. Couldn't find her friend. I go outside, I go back in to scope out and try and find her. One last time, she's standing over by the pool table at the back of the bar. So my girlfriend and I go in to go talk to her. My girlfriend goes to talk to her. I'm leaning against the wall, eating popcorn. The, the exchange back and forth between them verbally was pretty much exactly like they said. I couldn't really hear it. It was kind of loud in the bar. They throw drinks in each other's faces. I'll admit, my girlfriend totally started that part, but I didn't even at have which a drink point my throw. girlfriend turns around and goes to leave. The plaintiff then charges, punches her in the back. My girlfriend turns as she's oh, I turning. Down her. The plaintiff jumps you were behind on her, me. How am I supposed and to they, know? they sort of wrestle. What are you doing? I was standing there eating as popcorn. Eating popcorn. <laughs> eating popcorn. Yeah, I guess that's the Same right time to eat popcorn. popcorn. You're right. You thought you were in a movie eating the popcorn, right? As <laughs> soon as they hit the ground, I'm trying to pull them apart. I get immediately pulled off by a bouncer. Bouncer restrains both of them, and her friend punches my girlfriend in the face. I think she was so vicious towards you just for backing into her. You know, I guess... Did you ever find out? No, I'm really not sure why Ask somebody would, would bite somebody else. Do you have a question to ask me? Well, why were you so vicious? Plaintiff Rochelle Connard says the defendant attacked her at a bar and bit her during the fight. But the defendant insists it was only after Rochelle bit her between the breasts. Shelby was banned for assaulting Rochelle. Um, I'd like to point out that um, one of the people that works at the bar has prejudice against me. He also says that Shelby attacked another patron of our establishment. Um, when was that? And has been banned for one year. When was the Due other... to this and previous violent behavior. Um, when is the previous violent behavior? Just we'll out of curiosity. talk to him. He'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm granting her <laughs> judgment. $480. I receive what I believe is an independent statement from the establishment saying that they banned her for attacking you and also for her previous violent behavior. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Thank you. You should be more careful. I mean, honestly, who bites somebody that's really, in this day and age, kind of dangerous? I mean... I mean, if you wouldn't have stuck your hand in my mouth, I probably wouldn't have bit it. You bit me also on my arm up here. You bit me on my hand. You scratched even my boyfriend in the arm and knocked a plug out because you were so animalistic in your attack. You didn't that's even know silly. what was going on.